Hello, hello everyone. Today's lesson is lesson one, writing the date in three ways and writing a part of a set as a fraction. So when we write a, the date, we can use months or we can use numbers to write the months. So each month has a special number that goes along with it. Let's start off by reading the months of the year in order. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We always capitalize the names of the months. So we can write these months either as abbreviations or digits. So sometimes we don't have enough space to write the full name of the month, so you use an abbreviation. Okay, An abbreviation is a shorter way to write a word. So instead of January, I can write the word J-A-N period. So January abbreviated is J-A-N. Okay, We're going to write the abbreviation for each month. And when we write the abbreviation, we use a capital letter at the beginning and a period at the end. And when we see the abbreviation, we read it as the name of the month. I don't say Jan. I would say January. Okay. Now, there are three months that don't have abbreviations for them. And it's because they already have really short names. And that is May, June, and July. So those three months don't usually have an abbreviation. Okay, so let's go ahead and write in our other abbreviations. So February is F-E-B, period. March is M-A-R, period. April is A-P-R, period. May is just May. June is June. July is July. August is A-U-G, period. September is S-E-P-T, period. October is O-C-T, period. November is N-O-V, period. And December is D-E-C, period. Now you notice only one of these months has four letters in the abbreviation, and that's September. Okay, uh, All these abbreviations use the first three or four letters of the name of the month. We can also write the date without using any words at all, and we call this writing the date using digits. And we can use numbers from 1 to 12 to tell us what month of the year it is. So January would be the first month, February is 2, March is 3, April is 4, May is 5, June is 6, July is 7, August is 8, September is 9, October is 10, November is 11, and December is 12. Okay. So, when you write the year, uh, or when we write the year for any of these, uh, you usually only, sorry, when you write the year using digits, we only write the last two digits in the year. Okay. So, let's say today's date is August 24th, 2020. If I wanted to write this using digits, I would write for August, I would write 8. So it would be 8. And then we put a slash mark or a dash. 24. And then I only write the last two numbers of the year. So it would be 20. Okay. If I wanted to do November 12th, 1998, then it would look like this. November is 11. It's the 12th. And it was nine, the year was 98. Okay. So we can write down a part of a set as a fraction. So let's say I wanted to make a fraction of how many people had January birthdays over the total number of children. So in our class, we have about 25 students. Okay. Let's say that only four students have birthdays in January. So I would put four students have January birthdays over the total number of children, 25. Okay, let's, and this fraction tells us that four out of the 25 children have for January birthdays. Okay, if I wanted to do February birthdays, okay, let's say we have eight people with February birthdays. Well, then my fraction would look like 8 
over 25. Because the top number tells me how many, num how many people have that birthday. And the bottom number is the total number of children. So no matter what month I do, the bottom number will stay the same. Oops. The bottom number will stay the same. It's only the number on top that will change. What if I wanted to write a fraction for the number of boys in the class over the total class? Well, let's say we have 13 boys and there's 25 students total. So my fraction would be 13 over 25. Okay. What about if I have girls? I want to know how many girls there are in the class. Well, I will have to say that we have 12 girls out of the 25 students total. Okay. All right. And that's it for today's lesson. Good luck on your homework.